It's the Arctic Air Tower. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name's Jason. Here on this channel, I do a lot of food and product reviews. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Today, we're checking out another Arctic Air product, the Arctic Air Tower. So if you're familiar with Arctic Air, it is an evaporative air cooling device, this being a tower. They've had two previous versions. The first one here, just titled the Arctic Air, wasn't impressed with it. Um, again, I'm from Michigan, so here in the summer, it's very humid. These devices aren't gonna work very well. So if you live in a humid climate, it's probably not gonna be the answer for you. Um, but if you live somewhere where it's dry and you're not, and it's not humid, from what I've been seeing in the comments, people say these things work great. So take that in consideration. It's gonna depend on where you live or not. Um, so the original version, the Arctic Air, and again, these, the, this one and the second version, the Arctic Air Ultra, both were about $50. I'm sure you could find it on sale cheaper in some stores. Um, this was just a little upgraded version compared to this one. I did reviews on all of these devices, tried them in different areas with ice water versus tap water. Will it cool your RV? Will it cool your car? I'll leave uh, links to all the videos down in the description if you want to check those out to see the results on those. So this version here, the Arctic Air Ultra, was a little bit better than the Arctic Air, but how will they compare to the tower? So let's get these out of here. So I can't really put the box up here because you're not going to be able to see it, so I'll read it to you. Arctic Air Tower, and if you can see, it's back here in the corner, already set up. I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you. Enjoy cool, clean air anywhere. Whole room space cooler, three quiet speeds, oscillates, auto off timer, touch controls, lightweight and portable, space saving device. Cools, humidifies, and purifies. Eco friendly, energy efficient. So, very easy setup on this. It comes pretty much to all together in the box. Um, the tower itself was put together. You're just going to snap the two pieces to the base together, stick the cord through it, and attach it to the tower itself. And you're basically ready to go. You're going to plug it in, fill it up with water, and turn it on. So filling up with water, there's a little compartment on the back that you're going to slide open, and it has a little minimum and maximum levels on the side. So you can see as you're filling up with water how much water you want to put into it. So on top of the device, and I'll show you, there is four different buttons that you can push. The first one is going to be basically your power button. It looks like a little fan. When you push it the first time, that is gonna be the high speed. Push it again, it's gonna go down to medium. Push it the third time, it's gonna drop down to a low speed. And then when you push it the fourth time, it turns the device off. The next little, looks like a sun next to it, that's going to be your dimmer of your LED light on the top of it. Basically, it's just your Arctic air here. You can have it bright a little dimmer or just turn it off. The next button is your timer. So this is the neat one about this one is you can set a timer. So if you want to just have it go and have it shut off, maybe you want to have it on at night, but you don't want it to run the entire night. So you can either just have it on and let it go until it runs out of water and it'll shut down. It's got a two hour, a six hour, an eight hour, and a 12 hour timer on it. And I haven't tested it says here it runs for 16 hours. I know the little ones obviously didn't take as much water, didn't run near as long as that. But so suppose I can get 16 hours out of this device. And as far as it's efficient, you know, how well it works, I really can't test that right now because we're in January. Or we're in we're at the end of December. It's cool in here as it is. So it's I'm gonna have to wait till summer to really test it to see how well it works. But if you're in the market for one, I would definitely say go with the Arctic Air Tower. It's a bigger device, it has more options. I think it's a better device than these little tiny ones. So if you're looking for one, I definitely point you towards the Arctic Air Tower. Now, granted, it is twice as much. This, you're looking at $100 for it, where those ones you can get from $40 to $50, maybe even less on sale. But I think you're gonna be a little happier. And like I said, it's gonna be more powerful. It's gonna blow up more cool air on you and more options, the timer, it oscillates a better product than those little ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on now so you can see if you can hear how loud this device is. Okay. 
and that's on high. That's the high level fan. It's maximum speed. Not bad. Uh, sounds like a fan. It's not super loud. And I mean, I can feel it here. It's pretty strong. It's blowing on me. And again, like I said, it's cool in here anyways. Uh, you know, we're at the end of December. It's probably about 70 degrees in this room right now. So I really don't need this running, but it is definitely cool air. Again, how will it feel in the summer when it's humid? That'll be another question. That'll be another video. But again, if you're in a dry climate, I think this is going to work great for you. And if you're wondering, you're like, okay, I live in a humid climate. What will this do? It won't do much. It'll just feel like a fan blowing on you. So I took these two devices and I just tested them. I put them in my bathroom, the smallest room in my apartment, and turned them both on to see, would it work in there? Would it cool down a tiny little space with two of these going? It was probably, I think it was 70 degrees, 60% humidity in there. By the time I, and I let them run for an hour, when I went back in there, it was like a steam room. It was 100% humidity. The temperature had increased. So that's what happens when you use these evaporative coolers in a humid climate. It's just gonna make it worse. It's gonna make it more humid and you're just gonna be more miserable. So if you're in a humid climate, you're gonna wanna look for a different option. Either just get a fan or maybe an actual air conditioner. But if you're in a dry climate, these are gonna work out for you. And we will turn on, show you how it oscillates too. So if you wanna just, you know, want to, if you don't wanna just blow it on you, if you wanted to get the entire room, that's the great thing about this device, the tower, is And I tell you what, even as just using this, say, as just a fan here in a humid climate, it blows. I mean, this is strong. This is a lot stronger than these ones. Like I said, I'm maybe about six feet away from it. And when it blows, I mean, I can feel it and it's cool already. That's on the medium setting. Let me stop the oscillating here. Medium setting, not as loud. I can still feel it. It's not as strong, but it, it still reached me, you know, about six feet away. Let's turn it down to a low. Not sure if you can even pick it up now. It's really quiet. And it's just like a very slight breeze on me. So there you go, the Arctic Air Tower, the newest version of the Arctic Air. Again, it's about twice as much as, you know, the Arctic Air Ultra, but even though it's twice as much size difference, you're probably getting, you know, about three. It's like having three of these stacked on top of each other, blowing out of there. 16 hours supposedly you get out of there. You can set a timer for 12 hours. That's the great thing. It oscillates. It has a timer on there. It's big. It's more powerful. It's, as they say, whole room cooling. Again, we will have to wait till summer when it gets warmer to really find out how much this cools. And again, it's hard here when it's so humid. So if you have this device, let me know in the comments below, how does it work in a dry climate? Is it really cool down the room? Is it a lot better than these ones? I'm saying just from turning it on here, definitely a better product than these other smaller ones. So if you're in the market for Arctic Air, I would go with the Arctic Air Tower back there over the Arctic Air Ultra. And I will leave links to all the videos that I've done on these 
I've tested the original, the, the ultra. I've tried it in the car, in an RV, tap water, regular water. I've tried it in many different spots. You leave a link to all those videos in the description if you want to check those out to really get an idea which device you want to get, because I'm sure you can get some of these other ones probably on sale now if you're not willing to want to shell out the $100 for the tower. But again, let me know in the comments below if you have one. What are you looking for? Are you in the market for one? You know, it is the reason we got this original one is we lived in a, like a one bedroom apartment, like the size of a bedroom, tiny, no AC. AC was broken, so we decided to get this to see if it would work, and it didn't. I mean, being just a few feet away from it, you couldn't feel it. This one back here, definitely six feet away. I can feel it. it's strong. It's blowing on me. It's really well. Works. It works really well, but we'll have to wait till summer to see how it works in such a humid climate. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys next time.